Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're on paper 2 and here we're going to have a go at question 4. So the curve C1, so that's the slightly egg rugby ball shaped uh, curve uh, with parametric equations is x equals 10 cos t, y equals 4 root 2 sine t. Meet the circle C2 with equation x squared plus y squared equals 66 at so four distinct points as shown on the diagram to the right. Given that one of these points S lies in the fourth quadrant, find the Cartesian coordinate of S. Okay, so what I think I'll do here is I'll substitute the equation of one curve into the equation of the other curve. So it's going to be 10 cos t squared plus 4 root 2 sine t squared equals 66. Now, why did I decide to do this? Well, because what you're looking to do is find the intersection of two graphs. You're effectively looking to solve those as simultaneous equations. And one way of solving a simultaneous equation is by substituting one curve into the other. So now this curve has to follow both of the rules. And when it follows both of the rules, um, it's going to be an intersection point. So let's expand the brackets. It's going to be 100 cos squared t plus 4 squared is 16 and root 2 squared is 2. So 16 times 2 is 32 sine squared t equals 66. Okay, now I have to make a decision as to whether I want to turn... Um, the cos squared into sine squared or sine squared into cos squared. And I don't think it matters which way around you do it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with the cos squared. So it's going to be 100, 1 minus sine squared, plus 32 sine squared t equals 66. So the next thing to do will be to expand the brackets. So it's going to be 100 minus 100 sine squared t um, plus 32 sine squared t equals 66. Let's now move everything onto the right hand side so it would be add 100 and then minus 32 and if I do 100 minus 32 I get 68 so it would be 68 sine squared t and then if I subtract the 100 onto the other side, it's going to be minus uh, 34. Uh, okay, let's divide by 34 here, because I think both of those numbers are a factor of 34. So it's 2 sine squared t minus 1. So let's now move those two numbers onto the side. So it'll be a half equals sine squared t. So therefore, sine t equals plus or minus a half. Okay, so now in the fourth quadrant here, we're going to have a positive x value and a negative y value. So if I've got a um, sine value of plus or minus t, it's going to be one of these values, but I need the coordinate to be negative. So definitely, as um, s is in fourth quadrant sine t equals minus a half. Not because it's negative, but because the equation, if I plug a negative number into my equation, it's going to give me a negative answer. Um, so therefore, that's what I'm looking for. If I put the positive answer in, I'm going to get a positive y-coordinate, but I don't want to do that. I want to get a negative y-coordinate. So therefore, if I do plug it in and I put a half into the equation, it's going to be minus 2 root 2. At this point, I don't need to work out what t is equal to. Uh, I just need to work out what sine and cos are equal to. Now, I'm going to work out what cos is equal to. And that's going to be equal to 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared t. And sine squared t, remember, is a half. So it's going to be 1 minus half. And that's going to be a half itself. So again, that's going to be plus or minus 1 over root 2. Um, 
this is this is root two actually, isn't it? Yeah. So break my pardon. Sign you have to square root the two as well, isn't it? So that's not the answer. You divide by root two instead. So y equals minus four. I beg my pardon, I made a small mistake there. Corrected it, spotted it though, so that's fine. So it's gonna be plus or minus a half, root a half, which is uh, plus or minus one over root two. So now the cos one wants to be positive because the um the value of the x coordinate is positive on this graph here. So therefore cos so therefore um cos t is positive, so it'd be positive one over root two. So therefore x is going to be uh put um one over root two in as cos and it's going to be at 10 over root 2, so 5 root 2. So therefore the coordinate s is equal to 5 root 2 uh, minus 4. Okay, and there we are, that's the answer for this question here. So I didn't need to work out t for this question here. All I needed to work out was the value for sine and the value for cos, and I could plug it into my equation to work out what x and y are. Certainly, if you did work out what t was, that would be fine. Um, I just worked out what sine and cos were. So there we are, that's the answer for question four there. Six marks for that work there. Uh, some simultaneous equation work, solving trig equations, and then working with parametric equations as well. So the intersection of a good three or four topics there. So very good. Well done if you got that one. Let's move on to question five.